Hello, this is Alex with Tech Avenger TV. Hi, everybody. Today I'm doing another launcher review, uh, continuing with our series on launchers. It's been a while, but we're back. So let's get right into it. This is how you do it you go to the Play Store, search launchers, and then we're going to do the Nougat launcher today by the InDev team. So if you have a uh, Android Marshmallow or Lollipop, this will give you the feeling of having Nougat. Uh, it'll look like Nougat and feel like nu Nougat. So you just go ahead and install that. And wait for it. Click open. And there we go. We're on the... Uh, Nougat Launcher. Now I'm using my Galaxy S8. So this normally runs, well, formerly TouchWiz, now it's Samsung Experience, they call it. At any rate, <clears throat> this is how it'll look. Um, as you can see, the, the um, icons and everything look Nougat-ish. And uh, let's see, drop down. So you can drop down, get your drop down up here. Okay, so your drop down pretty much looks the same uh, as it did with the Samsung Experience launcher or TouchWiz. Um, same with your settings. They will be the same. Let's go there and take a look. Your settings look the same. It just changes your um, home page and, and icon and stuff like that. And actually right now, it just went back to the... Uh, the other, uh, the Samsung Experience launcher. Not sure why, but here we go. So, one thing I wanted to point out is that, as you see, um, it's got a theme store and Nougat settings. Um, let's go into Nougat settings and take a look at this. Um, okay, it's got common, uh, hide status bar, if you want to do that. Um, uh, Set default launcher, privacy, let's see, desktop. Uh, you can change your grid uh, from 4x4 four four to 4x5 four to 5x4 five to 5x5, five five, however you guys would prefer that. Icon layout, you can change that, small, large. And uh, let's see here. Color, shadow, display label. So there's quite a bit of customization here. Um, let's see, icon layout, scroll, wallpaper, how to add, delete, remove, remove desktop. So it gives you some instructions there. Uh, lock desktop, and then you can do 12-hour format, undo it. It would take you to, I believe, 24-hour format, although it's not, for some reason it's not letting me, I guess that's not an option. So let's go back and then uh, desktop. Uh, as, you, as you can see, there is a lot of customization on this one. Um, drawer, let's see what we got. So drawer is the same. It's got a bunch of uh, uh, different things you can change and customize. Portrait grid, landscape grid, icon layout. Um, so this is for the the app drawer and then let's go back and theme and UI so icon theme you can change that there's here's the theme store I guess this may be another way to get to it you allow and then an uh, Android in theme native theme um, you go online I'm not sure if you can download more um, it looks like those are the only two that it's actually letting us choose from, which they look very similar, so I, it's kind of hmm, kind of weird. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the settings. Um, unread count, missed call count, unread count, so this is stuff you can... Uh, decide to do if you want to gestures 
swipe down, swipe up. So this is uh, so you can have it do uh, certain things for for your gestures. So that's kind of cool. I mean, a lot of launchers don't even offer um, this stuff. So that's very cool that they do. Uh, let's see, advanced, uh, keep in memory, restart NuGet launcher, exit launcher. Okay, so that could be how you exit it. Um, let's see, about, and remove ads. I guess you can, they have a paid version, yeah, $5.99, and you can remove ads. It kind of sucks that they have ads, but I know they have they have to make money, so it it, it is what it is, you know. I mean, they got to make money, or it's not worth their time to develop this. Um, so advanced, uh, keep in memory, excellent. Yeah, we already covered that. So then, if you go back to the home page, um, let's look at the theme store. Um, this is the same theme store. So yeah, earlier it just gave us a shortcut. So I don't know what's on with this. If you go to online, there's nothing installed. Maybe they're going to develop some more themes to go with it. But right now there's only two to choose from. And to be honest, they look very similar. So it's like it's not that big of a difference. So uh, anyway, it's got this boost thing here, which you can click on. I guess it frees up some RAM. Um, so that can be useful. Um, Let's go into the app drawer. The app drawer, you scroll down instead of like on Samsung's launcher, it's left to right. This one, you actually scroll down and it's uh, in alphabetical order. Uh, and you might, in the settings, you could probably change that. So, as you can see, uh, let's, you know, it, it, it actually flows pretty good, it's pretty quick. Um, also, if you hold on the home screen, uh, screen, you can get to your settings there as well. And they have widgets. These are all your widgets. And then wallpaper. Let's go here. Yes, you have permission. Um, app permission, allow. Okay. Go back. There we go. So there's some different uh, wallpapers you can set. And uh, basically, you know, that's how you do it. You just click on it, set as wallpaper. I'll do home and lock screen. Okay, there we go. So, um, you know, there's plenty of customization that you can do on this. So um, you guys can mess around with it. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to uh, hit me up in the comments. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, that really helps us out, and I'll be doing more launcher reviews uh, and many other tech-related videos. So just uh, please subscribe and uh, wait for the, the new videos to come out. If you turn, hit the bell uh, when you subscribe, it will notify you, so you'll, you'll be one of the first to know when a new video comes out. Okay, so this was Alex with Tech Avenger TV. I appreciate your time. Alex, 